How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you a really cool plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. And if you are a Final Cut Pro 10 user, then this is the right video for you. Now this is a really cool plugin, especially if you don't have After Effects, and if you want to do any cloning or masking type, this is the right plugin for you. And this plugin is brought to you by fcpeffects.com, so make sure to go check that out. Now they do offer a bunch of amazing plugins for a reasonable price. And a plus, they're recommended by Apple too, so they're definitely a good website. So besides being a YouTube tech reviewer, I do a lot of filmmaking, because that's what I want to do. For now, I direct and edit music videos, and I'll be filming a short film in the near future. And if you guys want to see any of my future work, I'll have an annotation in the video. But anyways, enough of my daily life, let's get back to the video. So in this video, I'm going to be using three different clips. So what I have for the bottom layer is the guy sitting all the way to the left. And the next layer I'm dragging to the timeline is the guy sitting all the way to the middle. After you drag it to the timeline, do whatever you want to do with it, shorten it, make it longer, whatever you want. Give it a play and see how it looks. Once you finish messing around with the second clip, it's time to add the third. And if you have more clips to add, just repeat the process. Now I'm just going to fast forward this clip for you guys, and we're going to go straight to the plugin. So once you have all your clips set up and ready to go, go ahead and go to the effects tab and you'll see the My FCP Effects tab, and you'll see all the plugins that you bought at the FCP Effects website. So the plugin we're doing today is the Advanced Masking Tool. Like I said before, this is a really awesome tool for cloning, and you can check out their website for a more in-depth look at what the plugin can do. But for now, I'm going to be showing you the basic things you can do with it regarding cloning. So once you've applied the plugin to the two top layer, select the top layer, and you'll get 12 points you can adjust to a certain area, which in this case we're going to be masking out to our subject. So as you can see from the video, the closer the 12 points are to my subject, the better the masking will look and the better the cloning will turn out. Now after you're done messing with the top layer, you can go to the second layer. So for the second layer, just repeat the same process as before, and be sure you're not cutting out shadows or their arms when doing this. Now if you're satisfied with what you think you did, now give it a play and see how it looks. Now at the end of the video, I'm going to actually show you what the footage looks like when everything is complete. Now not only can you mess with the 12 points in the main video, FCP effects actually included a much more defined controls for more customization with different blending modes, mask feathers, rotation, crops, and many more goodies. And if you want to learn more about any of these customization, make sure to go to their website, it's fcpfx.com, and they have a bunch of tutorials over there, and a bunch of product information, so make sure to go check their website out, and just tell them that tech show sent you, and they'll probably give you a coupon code. So while I fix these 12 points to make the video much more accurate, I'll show you the final footage in just a few seconds. And I hope you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe for more Final Cut Pro 10 plugin videos, and I'll be doing a huge giveaway once I hit 1,500 subscribers, and that's all for this video guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow.